Hello, this is Chris and welcome back to a brand new reaction video. This is one I cannot wait for. This is Beauty and the Beast official final trailer. Woke up this morning, saw it in my inbox. I knew last week that a trailer was coming out at some point, didn't realise it was going to be last night. People have been messaging me asking if I'm going to do a reaction to it. My entire Facebook is just filled with people sharing the trailer, so I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. I have done reactions to all of the previous trailers that have come out for this movie. You can find those in the description below. Uh, needless to say, I I am very much looking forward to this film, but I'm very cautiously optimistic about it. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I am a huge Disney fan. I own all of the Disney classics on DVD, uh, most of them on VHS as well, and Beauty and the Beast is one of my favourite, and um, I even have this one on VHS too. Remember those when they were a thing? Um, I love this movie. As a kid, it wasn't one that I watched all that much, in all honesty. It was mostly like the Aladdins, Lion Kings, Hercules, Mulan, stuff like that. But as I've got older and as I've rewatched it more, this movie is absolutely a masterpiece. And it, it's one of those that just keeps getting better and better and more beautiful every time I watch it. So these whole live action remakes things, I've always been slightly against them because I think they do take away a lot of the magic and of the majesty and the legacy of that original movie. More people will probably go and watch this rather than the original, and I think that the original completely holds up. It's a timeless tale, a tale as old as time, and it's it's phenomenal. And I don't know if these live action versions are gonna take away some of that magic. Nevertheless, it looks a beautiful movie. Um, I've been loving what I've been seeing from the previous trailers. Maybe apart from the look of the household items and the beast. But nevertheless, let's get straight to the trailer now because I can't wait to see what's new in this trailer. Hopefully we get a few more musical numbers. Uh, maybe a glimpse at the ballroom scene again because that's my favourite scene of the movie. So I'm going to click play now. And I'm probably going to cry at the music again. My dear Belle, you're so ahead of your time. This is a small village. You are the one. Gorgeous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Nobody deserves it. And it's small minded as well. I really wish Henry That's Cavill was playing him. Means safe. Oh. <laughs> come to my father. They have taken that theme and just made it so Who's more the epic. Mind? Of course, it's all he ever does. <laughs> I love you, McCann. You're lovely tonight, your acquaintance. Want to see me do a trick? What happens when the last petal falls? The Mastel remains a beast forever. And we become antiques. Oh, that's... What did you do to it? Nothing. Get out of here! Does, is Bella aware that Beast is a human in the original film? Don't play the music, please. Please, I can't handle it. If she is the one who will break the spell, this film you must gorgeous. finally learn to love. Tell us all this time. Have you oh, read this... every one of these books? Is this the Ariana Grande version? True as it can be. Oh, be, be our guest. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> this isn't going to be the first reaction that I cry at. But I'm getting close. <laughs> I was just hit by like a nostalgia train with that trailer. Um, boy, uh, yeah, tears. <laughs> um, okay, where do I ta start talking about this? Firstly, just by how it looks. Visually, this is completely stunning. And I think that come next year's Oscars, I think this will definitely be up for some awards. Definitely in terms of costumes and probably up for cinematography as well. I'd be very surprised if it isn't. Maybe production design too. 
this looks stunning and just how they've taken that iconography from the animated film uh for example when we see be our guest in this it just looks as colorful as vibrant which that musical number absolutely has to be what i've been turned off from before with previous disney live action remakes is that they've kind of shied away from the music side of it like they're embarrassed by it um, they tried to do it in Jungle Book, but because they only tried to do it and it didn't feel organic to the world or the look or the tone that that movie set, to me it felt completely out of place. Like when Baloo was breaking into like a little verse of Bare Necessities, it felt very forced and just pandering. And especially with King Louie with King of the Swingers, which to me just came right out of nowhere and was very totally inconsistent with the rest of that movie. I'm hoping that that problem isn't in this movie because if they establish right from the beginning that this is a musical adventure and I know that they're using Alan Menken's score which is one of his best scores and best soundtracks to any of his Disney films that he's ever written um, I think it might be a little bit more organic and it will be like you are watching that live action version of the musical or like the Broadway show for example. Casting wise everyone looks great. I'm still a little bit iffy on Ewan McGregor's French accent um, and I think it always will be. The one thing I'm most looking forward to in this movie in terms of the ballroom scene which is my favourite scene is hearing Emma Thompson sing Taylor's Oldest Time Beauty and the Beast. The Angela Lansbury version's a classic don't get me wrong but her voice in that it, it didn't really have the power or the impact that I wanted from that song and I'm hoping that Emma Thompson with her voice she can bring that to it um i'm struggling to think of what else i can say oh one thing i wanted to talk about was um midway through this trailer where bell asks what happens if the last petal falls and i think it's cogsworth in the trailer says we'll remain antiques was bell aware that beast was a human in the animated film because that seems like a big story deviation if she does especially when it's all based on that she isn't really aware but then again there is that scene though isn't there in the um in the original movie where she goes to the west wing and she sees that scratched up portrait and she kind of smooths it out and she sees the human with the same eyes that the beast has but then again thinking about it now at the ending when she looks into his eyes and it does that close-up shot of him and she realizes that it's the human it feels like that's the first time that she's fully aware of it like the idea was in her head from the portrait but she isn't fully aware of it until the end so if she is aware from the get-go pretty much that the beast is a human i think that's going to take a lot of impact away from the story about her learning to love this beast who on the outside is this monstrous creature but on the inside that's what she falls in love with um, I think that might take away a bit of that magic and a bit of that character development and all that. Nevertheless, I can't wait for this movie. I believe it comes out in March. Um, as I said, one of my most anticipated movies of this year. Luke Evans looks great as Gaston, but every time I see him, I just really wish that they'd cast Henry Cavill because every time I look at him, I'm like, that is Gaston to a T. There's still a lot they haven't showed in this trailer. They hit most of the story beats in this movie with Maurice getting captured. Um, with the wolf attack on the beast they're still teasing that ballroom scene which I know is going to be just gorgeous to watch and if they replicate that camera shot I always say this is one of my favorite shots in animation history where the camera's up in the chandelier and it comes down and sweeps across the dance floor as they twirl into the camera if they replicate that shot I'm going to be over the moon because it's a beautiful shot uh, the song Taylor's Oldest Time which is going to be the credit version with I believe it's Ariana Grande and I want to say John Legend. I might be wrong. I don't listen to popular music. That version is not going to do anything for me because, as I say, I hate modern music. I'm not a fan of Ariana Grande, and I think they could have got someone better to sing that song. I understand why they've done it because they're popular in the charts. People are going to buy that single, download it. They're going to buy the CD. I wish they'd have got someone else to do the end song. But um, nevertheless, I think this movie is going to be great. It's never going to top the original for me. And I'm going in with that attitude. And part of me does wish that they'd have left well enough alone. But it looks like it's been done with care. It's been done with passion. And it looks like it's just going to be a completely gorgeous film to sit back and get swept up in. So that'll do it for my reaction to Beauty and the Beast official final trailer. Be sure to comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of this trailer. Did you cry? Did you love it? Or on the flip side, were you completely against it and didn't like it at all? Whatever you like, please do drop me a comment i try to reply to everyone's comments um in terms of what's coming up on the channel as we are moving closer to academy awards season and we will have a live stream on the oscars times will be up once we know what time uh, the live stream is for the oscars there'll be many more movie reviews i'm going on a review tonight with tape for moonlight there'll be other reviews for silence 
Live By Night, Train Spotting 2, Hacksaw Ridge, Jackie. Loads more move reviews that we're all going to try and get in before the Oscars begin. So hit that subscribe button. It is the best way to keep updated with all of our content. And until the next review, or until the next reaction, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.